Yo, what's up guys? So the winner of the last video of the $500 giveaway has been chosen. Screenshot is right here. Send me a DM on Twitter. Um, I'm going to do a bunch more giveaways in the future, so make sure to subscribe, turn the post notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the rest of the video. I turned $2,500 into $10,000 in just one month trading options with proper risk management. Okay, this was not a challenge account. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I did it, the exact strategy, step by step, so you can go ahead and do it for yourself. This is my TD Ameritrade account, and... This was back in February and March of 2022. Now, I haven't done a small account since. The reason being, I like making money, and I'd rather just use my larger account. Um, but I did want to do this to show you guys that it was possible, um, and it is possible. So you can see back in February 25th, um, 2022, I had about $2,300 in the account. And by the end of March of 29th, I had about $10,412 yeah, $10, in the account. Okay, so about 400%, very, very consistent growth, right? Very small dips in this chart. And yeah, it's a live account. You can obviously see I'm moving everything around. But let me show you exactly the breakdown, how you can do this for yourself, entries, exits, all of that, the exact strategy in this. So let's take a look at the chart. You can see now, I first want to go over what stocks you want to look at, okay? Because for me, when I did this account, there's about a list of six or seven different stocks that I traded all the time and then stay away from anything else okay strictly these stocks only and those stocks were things like qqq spy meta apple netflix tesla google baba and amazon okay now the reason that i went with these stocks in particular is for two reasons okay the first one is i've traded these stocks for many years so i know how they work i know how they run a lot of stocks move a little bit differently some of them move the same but if you can learn how they move you're always going to have that advantage and that edge now the other reason why I took these stocks in particular is because they have very good options volume, okay? There's not a lot of slippage, very liquid in the options market with these names. So I know that when I get in and out, it's going to be very easy to do that, and I'm not going to have any issues in terms of liquidity or big spreads. So let me go ahead and break down the exact strategy. Now, as you guys know, I trade supply and demand. Okay, but for this account, I wanted to keep it extremely simple. And so I decided to do that by focusing on two different sets of time frames. Okay, two different sets of time frames. Now, the first set of time frames I looked at, if so we're looking at SPY, would be the one hour through the four hour. Okay, so we have the one hour, two, three, and four hour. Okay, and the other set of time frames I look at is the one minute and the five minute. That's it. You don't need to look at anything else or any other time frames. So, how does the strategy actually work? Well, what I want to do is find a stock like, you know, Baba, okay? Get rid of this zone here. And let's say we're trading this day, okay? So pre-market comes 30 minutes before the market opens. I'm out here looking at all these stacks, stocks, planning out my setups. So take a look at Baba. We'll start with the four hour. You basically just want to go through the four, three, two, and the one hour and find supply and demand zones. It can be from the previous day. It can be from the previous week doesn't really matter. What matters is where are the closest supply and demand zones on the one, two, three, and four hour time frames that I want to trade. So if we look at Baba, four hour, you know, price opened here, right? We're going to assume that we were trading on this day here. We don't really see anything on the four hour till all the way down here. But we want to draw that in. Okay. Not really any supply up here. We already tapped that. So we don't want to touch that. Then we'll go to like a three hour. Same thing. Nothing really there. Two hour. Uh, now we're starting to see a zone, right? You can see this two hour demand zone right here. You see this fast move higher, take the body of the candle before down to the low and extend that out, okay? And then two hour on the upside, don't really have much. Go to the one hour, same exact thing, okay? If market's opening right here. Don't really have any demand till down in this area here from 91.68 all the way down to 91.34. So now that we have our zones marked out, pre-market before the market even opens we then want to go and zoom in on the one minute and the five minute when it's time to trade so we go ahead on the one minute or the five minute we draw our zone we see okay price comes down to our zone right how do we want to trade the setup well very simple right as you remember i want to keep it very simple when i did this account so what i did was i simply say okay i know i want to buy when price comes down to demand so right at the top of that demand zone it's going to be my entry 
I know my stop is going to be right at the low of that demand zone. That's simply how you trade supply and demand. And so my target is going to depend on two things, right? There are two different ways I looked at targets. The first one is going to be risk reward. Okay. Typically, if I was getting in multiple contracts, I would get out half my position at one to one risk rewards. So one to one would be right around here. Okay, so I'd get in here, have my stop there, and then get out right there. Now, then I would hold the other position and get out at liquidity targets. Okay. Now, liquidity on itself could be a whole nother video. Um, so definitely stay tuned because I'm going to make a whole new video about that. But essentially, liquidity is just found at the highs and lows, right? So if you look at a five minute chart, we look at this high right here, that's where you're going to find liquidity. So my next target would have been right up there at that high, about a one and a half risk reward trade. Okay. This is an example of a trade I would have taken when I was trading that account. Okay. Very simple. Okay. We have four hour, three hour, two hour zones. And when it's time to trade, we go on the one minute and the five minute. We buy or sell if price is entering demand or supply. We put our stop at the lows and we target one to one for our first target and then liquidity for a second target. Okay. It's very, very simple. Let me show you another example on Google. Okay. So let's walk through this. And this is literally something that you can do pretty much instantly, like starting today. Okay. Let's take a look at Google. So remember market opens on this day here. Okay. So if we're looking back on the four hour, don't really see much. I mean, we got demand all the way down here, right? We have this demand that broke on the day before, so we don't need to draw that in. No real supply until all the way up here. So we go on a three hour. Oh, you see, now we're starting to see a demand zone. Okay. You can see we have this massive gap up. Okay. Gaps act really well as supply and demand zones. So if we look at a two hour, look at the one hour, basically the same thing, right? We get this nice gap up. So we can draw our zone from the gap fill down to the bottom and extend it out just like that on the two hour zone right there. Okay. Really simple. So then we go, okay, time to trade. We have our zones marked out pre-market. Let's take a look at the five minute and the one minute chart. One minute, five minute price comes in, right? We buy right as price enters there, put our stop at the lows. First target is going to be that one to one risk reward, which happens right about here. Second target is going to be liquidity, which at this point would have been probably all the way up here. But if you also see, we have a nice little supply zone here, right? You can see how we have this rally, we have this base, we have this drop, we have this very fast move lower here. That to me shows that there's supply up here. So also looking at smaller time frame supply demand, you can use as your targets as well. So getting out there, about another one and a half risk reward trade, okay? Keeping it really, really simple. Now I'm going to show you one more example and then show you the exact options that I took for the strategy to work, how to actually execute on them. So taking a look at Amazon, same exact thing. Okay. I already have the zone drawn in there. Let me get rid of that for you. So Amazon, right? Market's going to open on this day here. This is the day we're looking at. So we're looking at the previous price action to find our zones. We got a nice four hour supply zone all the way up here. We got a nice four hour demand zone all the way down here, this gap fill. We had a nice four hour demand zone right here as well. Price ended up going right through it the day before. So we don't want to look at that. So we have a nice four hour demand zone, right? We can zoom in on three hour, two hour, and one hour. Again, same thing. Don't really see much. So this is the only zone that we'd have drawn pre-market. So then we look at the five minute and the one minute chart. We go, okay, we have our demand zone. Price is coming down into demand. What are we going to do? We're going to buy, right? So price comes in, we get some calls. Again, I'm going to show you exactly which ones to get. But for now, we do this, put our stop at the lows, target one to one which would be right around right here. Take our first profit and then we target liquidity, which would be right at the highs right about there. So probably wouldn't even take profit till all the way down here. And so that would be around 1.8 risk reward trade for the second half of our position. Okay. Very, very simple. Okay. This is something you can literally start using today. You just draw out your four, three, two, and one hour zones on these big name stocks. You trade it off the one minute and the five minute. Now, which options do we take and how much do we risk per trade, right? How was I able to grow my account 400% in a month with proper risk management without going all into my account? Okay. First, let's talk about the options you want to take. Okay. Now I know a lot of you guys probably are going to think, I want to get, you know, out of the money weekly contracts. That's how I get the 300%. That's how I get those fast gainers. 
It's not what you want to do, okay? If you're going to do that, you're going to get chopped up in all of this decay, okay? With price just going like this, sidelining, you're going to get so much decay, the option is going to decrease in value, you're not going to be making a lot of money doing that. What I did for this challenge account is I simply went in the money or at the money. So right, the first strike in the money or the first strike at the money, and I got one week out. That wasn't a weekly. So whether it was Monday, whether it was Friday, I would get the next week out, the first strike that's in the money, that's the option I would get. Really simple. Okay, you don't need to overcomplicate it. Don't need to get into any other complex spreads or strategies or in condors. That's for a whole nother story. But for this, and what I did for this account when I grew this is simply trading one week in the money options, okay? The cool thing about that is that you can get a nice 10 to 20% gainer, 10 to 30% gainer, strictly doing that, okay? People think you need to go way far out of the money. You need to get a weekly contract just to get those 100, 200%, 50% gainers. You don't need to do that, okay? On a move like this, getting one week out, this is probably a minimum 30, 40% move on the options contract, okay? This could potentially be a 100% move, okay? You don't need to go for anything crazy. Now, when it comes to risk management, how do we want to do our risk management, okay? Now, typically, as most people say, you want to risk 1% to 2% of your account per trade. Risk per trade, right? Of your account, not of the, the option value, but of the account. Now, since I had a small account, right, it's a little bit tough to risk 1% of $2,500, okay? That would be, what is that, like 25 bucks? It's a little tough to do when you're trading options that are, you know, a few hundred dollars per contract, okay? So for me, in this account, what I did is I risked 5% per trade, okay, of account value, okay? So that would be around 125 bucks per trade when I first started, obviously with that risk increasing as my account grows, okay? And the reason I did this is because with small accounts, you want to give yourself enough room to be able to risk a decent amount, right? If I'm getting in, you know, if I'm trading something like Google and I have a, a stop loss of essentially, you know, almost a percent on the stock itself, that may be a 30, 40, you know, 20, 20 to 40% stop loss on the actual option contract. So what you need to do is risk appropriately and take the right amount of contracts where if you do lose 40% of the option value, you're still only going to lose 5% of the account. It's very, very important that you do that. And that's exactly what I did to have almost minimal drawdowns in this entire account. You can see the biggest drop-off I had was from about 8K to about 6.7K, about $1,300. Okay, and that was just by risking 5% of the account per trade, taking maybe one to two trades per day, okay? I kept it very simple. It was a very smooth ride of growing the account. Now, that is going to be the exact strategy you need to use, okay? The strategy works. You can see I've done it. And if you follow this, and you keep it very simple, you don't overcomplicate it, you can make a lot of money using this strategy. Now, if you guys did enjoy this video, I made a free training down below showing you the exact reason why you're not hitting $10,000 per month right now with stocks and options. So go ahead and watch that video. You're going to figure out why you're losing money and how to fix it. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below other videos I should make. Watch that video, that free training down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.